Hello, good evening, everybody. Good evening. How are you? Hi, teacher. Hey, um, do you, do you see the letters right? Can you read them right or is it backwards? Is it backwards? Está al revés las letras o están bien? It's okay. It's okay? Okay. Yeah. I was wondering, thank you. It's just that this thing has an option to reverse. I don't know. Okay, um, so it is eight o'clock. Please turn on your camera. Make sure you have your full name. Come on. Let's start the class. Hey, sorry guys, can you please make sure um, Renee, oh, well, Renee is driving, let me help you. How are you, Renee? Thank you, teacher. Good morning. Don't worry, don't worry, I'll do that. Hey, okay, Elvin. I see this. I got you, I got you. There you go. Okay, good. So let's start as usual. Let's check our attendance first. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Excellent. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Carlos Armando Duarte. Present. Claudia Maricela Solano Crespin. Elvin Ar Ar Arcides Aguizabal Martinez. Present. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Carla Janet Amaya Herrera. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present teacher. Present. Thank you, René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. You're driving, be careful. Reina Mari, Reina Marisabet. Yes, I know, thank you. Thank you. Reina Marisabel Isabel El Álvarez de Chávez. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Present. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. 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 Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Carolina Yvette Romero Avelino. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present. José Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia. José Ángel Martínez Hernández. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Okay, good. Wow. Let's see. We have 14 people. How come I have 18 here? Okay. Guys, remember, try to be on time every time. I know it's difficult. You're coming from work, but let's try to make it, okay? Let's try to make it on time to your class. So today we're going to start talking about yesterday's last topic. But first, every class, we're going to start with two simple questions. First, do me a favor, uh, Miriam, Isela, uh, turn on your camera, please. Thank you. Perfect. Okay. And we all have our full names. Let's do it. So let's start with the with this dynamic, every class, every class, don't expect, don't expect for me to speak. Okay, start saying hello. Can you sustain a conversation for five minutes? Can you do it? Can yes. you? Yes, you can do it. You're an intermediate one. Basic, a very basic conversation. Okay, mm -hmm. Sandra Elizabeth, good evening. How are you? 
How are you? Oh, you say hello. <laughs> okay. I'm doing great. Okay. Good. I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. So what did you do today? Good day. Sorry? How was your day? I fine. It was fine. It was fine. Uh -huh. Simple past. Okay. Yes, it was okay. Okay. Good. Let me try. Let's see. But the point is to have a conversation. So let's continue. Let's see. Hi, Jocelyn. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm doing awesome. Thanks for asking. So how was how was your day? Um, it was very difficult for me. In the morning, I woke up at 6 a.m. I went to my daughter to the kindergarten, and I should work. You and took your, you took your daughter to kindergarten. Oh, good. Is it a long drive? Uh, not much. That Be much? Honest. Was there traffic? No. Uh, a little bit. During the morning, do you know there is a lot of traffic jam? There's, there isn't much traffic. There isn't more traffic, yes. Much, much traffic, okay. Much traffic. There isn't much traffic in the morning at all because it's early morning, I got it. Okay. Early morning. Good. In the morning. good, good, okay. Awesome, okay. Roberto Luis, how's it going? Listen guys, how's it going? Okay, not only say, how are you? Mm, how was your day? You can say, how's it going? And it's a very common greeting in, a, in the United States. It's very common. How's it going? How's it going? It's like saying, how are you? Roberto Luis, how are you? How's it going? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Thank you. Great. How was your day today? It was fine. It was fine. Okay. Busy? A lot of work? Yes. Yes. Okay. So tomorrow, prepare to have a conversation. Okay. As soon as we start the class, start saying hello until I tell you, hey, let's start the class. Okay. Uh, that This is what I expect from you. A lot of noise in the classroom. And I'm like, wow, okay. Everybody's saying, hi, hi, hey, how are you, Yoni? Hey, how are you, Miguel? I'm doing great. Okay, check, talk, talk, talk. Number two, I will always ask you this question. Where were we? Let's say you're having a conversation with someone. You're having a conversation with a friend, your girlfriend, the boss, whatever. And then some, someone comes and tells you, hey, come here, I have to talk to you. And you go, and then you come back to that person and you go like, oh, I'm sorry, where were we? Where were we? Do you understand where were we? No, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. Sabrina, okay, yeah. yeah. What, is the, what is the meaning? Where were we? Como, es como decir en español, ¿dónde, dónde nos quedamos, dónde estamos? Perfect. Yes, um... Perfect. Where were we? So that's the second question. First, say hello to anybody, you know, make friends here in the group. Okay. And then second, I will ask you, <laughs> media and your camera is backwards. Okay. It's upside down. Okay. So, and then I will ask you, where were we? So where were we? Where were we? Come on, really? Com conversations. Mm -hmm. the, the restaurant industry. Mm -mm. We, we haven't talked about it. Oh, yeah, we talked about the restaurant. Comparatives, yes. Comparatives, right? Okay, let's start. So, um, comparatives. Sorry, yep. teacher. Um, you did the attendance, but... I was the issues with my internet. My name is Claudia Solano. Don't worry. As you know, I do the attendance three times, but that doesn't mean that you're mm. not going to be on time. So try to be on time. I understand there are today, um, Del Sur, 
had a lot of problems, right? Did you hear the news? Yeah, yeah there was no electricity at four something. No, at 2 p.m. At 2 p.m. I had another class and those were kids. They were like, my internet doesn't work. No class today, no class today. And I was like, no, connect right now. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, it's not your case. So right now, if everybody's here, we are 20, 19. Okay, let's do it. So let's continue talking about comparatives, okay? Just comparatives, not superlatives. So we compare two things. The differences between two things, right? That's the idea. What can you infer? What can you say about these two drawings? That, like, um, John, for example, is taller than Smith. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> John is taller than Smith. Okay, good. Creativity. Put names. That's, uh, that's good. Creativity. Okay, one is taller than the other. One is taller than the other. Uh huh. What else? Bigger than. One is bigger than the other. Okay. What else? The opposite. Bigger. Smaller. Okay. Make the sentence. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> the left One. guy is smaller than the right guy. Okay. Then the guy to the right. Okay. The guy on the left, repeat, the guy on the, the left, guy on the left is smaller, is smaller than, than the guy on the right. Okay. Excellent. The guy on the right. Good, you got it. So what are comparatives? Um, volunteer, help me reading. Comparative are used to show the difference between two objects. Wait, wait, Ada. <laughs> read, <Me> read, <laughs> read. Go ahead. But comparative take, take your mouth. To show, take, take your feet. To show the difference. <laughs> oh, comparative. Comparative are used to show the difference between two objects. Let's say that I have two cars. I had a little Toyota and big Ford. A comparative is used to show the difference between the two. The four is big, so we can say the four is bigger than the Toyota. Because the Toyota is small, is small. we can say the Toyota is smaller than the four. To learn to use it this, we need to learn five basic rules. Excellent, okay, good. Let's improve a little bit, let's do it. So thank you, Ada. Uh, you say Toyota- It is smaller. The pronunciation is smaller. Yep. That's what we're gonna do right now, thank you. Toyota and a, and a big four. Remember, articulate, don't rush, don't rush. Do you understand what is the meaning of rush? Yeah. yeah yeah okay i understand rush. to do something in a rush no okay uh before when you read in a rush you eat the words okay a uh, big four comparative a comparative is used other used use okay used. look used 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 there you got it used Just. ¿Se acuerdan de los tres sonidos finales de los verbos regulares en pasado? Yes. Okay, yeah, you remember that, right? So you have t -t -t. you have and then you have ed, red, 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 or id, id, cualquiera de los dos. Okay, so in this case, it's the first rule, used. Used. To show the difference between the, now, this article, you read it, the, before a consonant and the before a vowel, the apple, 
the ice cream, the United States of America, the United States of America, okay? The two, between the two, okay? You know, I heard many gringos saying Toyota, Toyota. Toyota. They don't say Toyota, they, they say Toyota, okay? Because the Toyota, now let's join the words, Ada. You say the Toyota is small. Is small. Mm -hmm. Because the Toyota is small. Listen, because the Toyota is small. Because the Toyota is small. We can say the Toyota is smaller. We can say the Toyota is smaller. Oh, let's not make that pause. Don't make the pause. The Toyota is smaller. Toyota is smaller. There you go. Wow, guys, you're amazing. To learn to use this, we need to learn five basic rules. Repeat, to learn to use this. To learn to use this. To learn to use this. We need to learn five basic rules. We need to learn five basic rules. Okay, can you read these two words? This. This. Okay, number one. This. 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 Number two. This. 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 Can you read these two words? Kiss. 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 Okay, repeat after me. This. This. Kiss. This. Kiss. Kiss. Again, this. This. Kiss. Kiss. This. 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 Kiss. Kiss. Do you notice the difference? This. 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 That will sound. Kiss. This. Kiss. 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 Yeah. Kiss. Kiss. You, just, you just extend a little bit the sound. Okay? You got it. Okay, let's continue. Rule number one, Sabrina Mabel, please. Uh, rule number one, if an adjective has one syllable, we have the ending okay. to the adjective. Okay, we said the before a vowel, right? The adjective, the ending. The adjective. Mm -hmm. If an okay. adjective has one syllable, we add the ending er to the adjective. For example, we said yesterday, one syllable, monosyllables, right? Small, smaller. And we add then, right? Smaller than, hard, harder, harder than. So as an example, uh, Sabrina? The... Oh. The and the and is smaller than the than the than the hippo. The hippo. Hippo. Yeah, remember H is not mute and it's not muted in, in English. It's not silent. So you say hippo, hippo. Hippo. The, okay. the ant is smaller than the hippo. <clears throat> Good job. Okay. Okay, let's go with rule number two, Johnny. Um, if uh, one syllable adjective and with a consonant, uh, more uh, 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 repeat plus 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 a uh, vowel. Uh, repeat plus vowel. 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 Look at me. Vowel. 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 Oh, oh. vowel. Okay, I'm vowel. saying vowel, not vowel. 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 Mm -hmm. Plus a vowel. Plus, plus a consonant, you must double the last consonant and the add ear. Ear. ER. Mm -hmm. And ER. then, repeat, and then. And then. Add. Add 
ER. ER. Okay, so you say big. Big. Bigger. Bigger. Then bigger than. Fat. 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 Fatter than. Fatter. Fatter than. Yeah, Fatter. don't say. You can say fatter. But that's British, okay? Fatter, and it sounds like it sounds like father, okay? In this case, it's fatter, fatter, fatter than, fatter than. For example, than. Johnny, um, my dog is look, look, look. Uh, sorry, sorry. The elephant is fatter than the giraffe. Okay, the elephant is fatter than the giraffe. The yeah. elephant is fatter than the giraffe. Perfect. Okay, so we got this right, right? You got it? Consonant, vowel, consonant. You double the G, I mean the consonant, and add ER, and that's it. Yeah. Got it? So far, so good? Yeah. yeah. Good. Yeah. Rule, so rule Teacher, number can three. you send the presentation and the group WhatsApp, please? Yes, I will. Remember, you can also watch the video. You can also watch the video um, tomorrow, but it's okay. I'll send the presentation. Okay? It's not mine, but I'll send it. It's very useful, actually. I liked it. Okay, number three. Volunteer. Me, coach. Now, oh, come on, coach. Teacher. Yeah, Teacher. Alexander, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, okay. Rule three. This is an adjective and with a Y, remove the Y and add E R I E R I E R I E I E R in example yeah, I E R in example I E happy minus yeah minus uh, no no don't worry y. about that just happy okay okay Minus happy. Y. Well, you're right, actually. Happy minus the Y plus Y E R. Okay. Just happy becomes becomes happier than happier than. Continue. Uh, okay. Only funny. Y becomes funnier than. Uh huh. Example. The girl is happier than the duck. Excellent. The girl is happier than the duck. Than the than the than the than the duck. Okay. The girl is happier than the duck. Hey, this that's a difficult world, right? A difficult world. Uh, you say girl, girl, girl. Okay. Is this clear? This is simple, right? You just remove the Y. Just make sure that there's a consonant before the Y. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's a consonant before the Y. If there's a vowel before the Y, mm -mm. got it? Got it. Okay, yeah. got it. Let's go. Rule number four. Oh my God, volunteer. Come on. Yes, Sabrina. Excellent, go. If an adjective has two syllable or more without A, Y, then add the word more before the word. If the adjective ends with, with a, 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 with a Y, mm -hmm. with a Y, mm -hmm. you will only add the word more if it has three syllables, syllables or more. If it has, if it three, has three syllables or more. If it has three syllables or more. In example, in example, beautiful plus more, um, more beautiful than. Perfect. Excellent. Very good. So expensive plus more because more expensive than, more satisfactory than. Continue, Sabrina. The example, the butterfly is more beautiful than the frog. Then the frog, the frog. Okay, excellent. Okay, this is the confusive um, rule. For me, it was very uh, confusing because it says two syllables or more. Mm. 
two syllables or more. So I sent you yesterday a list of verbs, a list of adjectives. We're going to apply it in just one minute. Last rule is very simple. It's just an exception, okay? The exceptions, good, bad, and far. Good becomes better, it's better then. Bad becomes worse, <laughs> worse then, and far becomes farther then. Now, after this slide, after this slide, sorry, after this slide, here comes the, um, the superlatives, okay? But we haven't talked about it yet. It's very similar. It is very similar, but we will see it later, the superlative forms, okay? I'll send you the presentation to your WhatsApp. So you can see it. Everything that we see in this class, you will have it on your WhatsApp and also on the video that you can watch again the following day. So right now we're gonna have a few minutes only to build our own sentences. If you downloaded the adjectives that I sent you yesterday, I'll give you just a few minutes so you can practice with the adjectives list. Can someone mention one adjective? I want to hear one adjective for each of you and the rest will say the comparative form. Okay, let's start. I have Sabrina on my left. One adjective, any adjective. <laughs> Okay, um, long. Long. Everybody, what's the comparative? Longer. 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 Then look for it. Go to Google, I mean, YouTube, and look for longer than. Longer than every fish is in the ocean. Higher than every bird ever flew. No? No? No, Not really? Funny. That's Bob Seeger. Bob Seeger, 1969, I think. The name of the song is Longer Than. It's a beautiful song. If you love someone, listen to that song. And that has a lot of comparatives. A lot of comparatives. Longer than. Oh, I'm sorry. Eh, una cosa que te va a pasar cuando aprendas inglés como no lo aprendiste en Estados Unidos, como tu teacher, que te va a dar dislexia. <risa> es lo más normal. Wow. No te preocupes. Y te va a pasar a veces ya a este punto, a mi punto, es que se te olvidan los nombres en español y pasas hasta 30 minutos y tu esposa se ríe de vos porque no te acordás del nombre de la cosa en español. <risa> y you're like, oh my God, what's the name of this thing? <risa> yeah, it's horrible. So, longer than. Ok. How do you say, te recuerda eso algo in English? Reminds. Hmm. This is my idiom for you today. Does that ring any bell? Does that ring any bell? Does that ring any bell? You can change the that for this. Let's say that you had some notes, right? on your desk, this thing, okay? And you go like, does that ring any bell? Okay, to someone. ¿Te recuerda algo esto? Mm, does that ring any bell? Y sabes que la persona no se va a acordar. Does that ring any bell? Okay. Hey, you said you were going to the doctor, remember? Does that ring any bell? Okay. Very common phrase in, in America. Okay, thank you, Sabrina. Next. Long, longer. Johnny. Hi. Um, One adjective. Beautiful. Someone? More beautiful. More beautiful. Continue. Who Me? gave the yeah, go ahead, Fernando. Okay. Uh, difficult. Any. Oh difficult. More difficult. difficult? I thought I thought you were asking difficult or easy teacher. <laughs> difficult, uh-huh. Okay. More difficult. More difficult. Perfect. Continue. 
Interesting. Repeat. Interesting. 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 Mm -hmm. Next. Oh, I'm sorry. More interesting. More interesting. More interesting. Jocelyn, go. Lazy. Uh, crazier. You got it, Fernando. Thank you, Alexander. Mm -hmm. Alexander de Jesus. Okay, Roberto Luis. Hilarious. Hilarious. Uh, more hilarious? Then. Then. Uh -huh. more. Okay, perfect. Next, Roberto Luis. Bad. 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 Worse. Bad. Okay, worse. 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 worse than. Worse than. Okay, thank you. Okay, we have a challenge for you. You have only four minutes. This is going to be really quick. I need three sentences using one comparative. Okay, simple as that. But teamwork. Teamwork. Let's do it together. How many are we? We are 22. That's 11, 10. Okay, together. Couples. Let's go. Just three sentences using comparatives. Come on. Let's go, Alexander, Miguel, Rina. Mm, what about expensive? Expensive. Mm. Expensive. Oh, expensive. <laughs> there you go. Or this shirt is more expensive than. Oh, shirt. Than than yours. Maybe. Can you repeat, please? William? Okay, this shirt. Oh, this, this shirt. Shirt, uh-huh. Shirt. It's more, it's more, it's more expensive. Oh. <laughs> than yours. Than yours, okay. Than yours. Mm. Oh, what about mm, cell phone? Your cell phone is more expensive than me. Than mine. mine. Than mine, yeah. <laughs> but we need Your... other comparative. With the same, with the same no. adjectives, sir. No, different. Different. Different adjectives, oh. yes. We need three. Oh, oh sentences. okay, okay. Uh, modern. Your cell phone is more modern than mine. Perfect. Um, That's right. More. The travel in the airplane is more expensive. The, the, the traveling in the in the car, no? Yes. A trip, a trip okay. by airplane, a trip by airplane is more expensive. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, let me write it. A trip by airplane is more expensive. Is more expensive than a trip by what? By a car. By car. By car. <clears throat> when you generalize, 
uh, that you don't use articles like the, uh, and, yep. Okay. okay, continue, continue. Uh, are bigger than tennis balls. Okay. The, 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 Lionel Messi is better than Cristiano Ronaldo. Did you say <laughs> did you say better? Better. Oh better. 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 Okay. Better. 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 Mm -hmm. There you go. Better. I am younger than my cousin. Cousin. Uh-huh. I'm cousin. younger than my cousin. Good. Okay. 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 Um. Okay. And write uh, and write in English, but my problem, I I think uh, I don't speak influence. I need I need a more practice for that. But, uh, You're doing you... it. You're doing it. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a talking about uh, myself and, and and Johnny too. Okay. Did you make the examples? Uh, now uh, no. we concentrate and <laughs> talking about that. No, the examples oh, with the comparatives. Uh, you, yeah, you, okay. yeah, you got three, the three list. Sentences. The three sentences. Yes. That's right. Okay, oh. okay. Uh, um, I can see. Uh, uh, Look for the, the, the list of adjectives that I sent you yesterday. Okay, okay. okay. Can you uh, read the page? Uh, for example, for me, uh, I am. Uh, I am toddler, to, toddler than my sister. I'm taller. I'm taller than my sister. You got it. I'm taller than my sister. Yes. Um, let me see. Oh, uh, I, I um, am. Yeah. In my case, the. Uh... And uh, my dog is uh, more cleaner <laughs> than my it's cat. Clean. Oh, okay, clean, uh, cleaner, cleaner. My oh, dog, cleaner, my cleaner. dog, my dog, yeah, is, my dog is cleaner, cleaner than, than my cat. My cat, good. Okay. Uh, today, today, today is colder than yesterday. Uh, teacher, close the, your 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 microphone. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> uh, today is cold, colder than yesterday. Uh, sorry, guys, I had an emergency. Okay. Good, sorry, okay, tell me. Yeah. So you, you made okay. three examples. What was the last example? That uh, today is cold, colder than yesterday. Perfect, today is colder than yesterday. Easy, you got it, okay. you got it. Okay. Okay. Let's see if everybody got it. Let's move on. Mm-hmm. 
Dan Fogelberg. Okay, we're back. No, not yet. Okay. Rina, can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Aún de camino. Oh, okay. No he encendido la cámara, pero ya casi llego a la casita. Okay. Be careful, not a problem. <laughs> Thank you. Man, I had I had forgotten. I had forgotten about that song. I love that song since I was a kid. It's a beautiful song. Longer Than by Dan Fogelberg. Dan Fogelberg. It's a beautiful song. Okay, give me your examples. Uh, Alexander, what's your favorite color? Yeah, my favorite color is pink. Pink, okay, William Alexander. No, that's is that pink? No, wait, Fernando Ernesto Cosme. That's pink. <laughs> okay. Yes, my wall, my wall. I, uh, yeah, your wall. I got it, I got it, I got it. Give us one example from your group, your couple. Uh, uh, English is more more difficult than uh, French. No way. No way. It's easier. It's easier. Hey, um, do me a favor. Um, I don't know if I told you this yesterday. Did I give you a homework yesterday? Did I say homework? No? Okay, homework. <laughs> Tomorrow, I need you to bring to the class. I mean, you don't have to write it, but just study this. I need 10 expressions 10 expressions and that's all you have to use them in the class got it what are expressions what really no way are you kidding me for real that is expression those are expressions, yes. So if you want to sound more natural, just use expressions. Yes. It's natural. I mean, it's like, oh, and please don't say, ah, no, start saying, oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, select someone, Fernando, choose somebody. I need somebody. Carlos Duarte. Carlos Duarte, give us your example. Okay. Um, turtle is slower than rabbit. A turtle, repeat, a turtle is a turtle is, is slower than a rabbit. Than rabbit. <laughs> Come on, do it again, Carlos. A turtle is slower than a rabbit. A turtle is slower than the rabbit. Then a, a then rabbit. rabbit. Then, then a rabbit. rabbit. Um, guys, um, generalization. When you generalize, you don't use articles unless you do it like that. A turtle is uh, slower. Is slower than a rabbit. Turtles are slower than rabbits. Turtles are slower than rabbits. You generalize. You pluralize. Okay. Okay. Who is next, Carlos Armando? Who is next? One minute, one minute. Um, um, Alexander. Alexander? Jesus, okay. <laughs> okay, for example, your t shirt is more colorful than mine. Your t shirt is more colorful than mine. Perfect. Okay. Anybody else who wants to participate? Me, Sabrina. Mm -hmm. um, he is happier than you. Excellent. Good job. 
Okay, any questions, Rene? Are we clear? So salty. <laughs> oh, oh, don't say so, so. Ah. Don't say so, so. Please, to this teacher, never say so, so. Okay, that's that's the meaning of so, so. Kiss, hug, kiss, hug. Okay, don't say so, so. Mi primera estudiante en 2014. Ah. Um, <laughs> Es, okay, yo, yo luché mucho para enseñarle inglés. Mi primer estudiante difícil. Um, what's your name? What's my name? So so teacher. So so. Uh, no, le estoy preguntando que cuál es su nombre. Oh, Ay, otra teacher, otra. Okay. How old are you? How old are you? Ya me la sé esta. How old are you? So so teacher. So, so. And I'm like. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, let's have a Okay, cuántos se nos Ay, teacher, lo siento, una más. Okay. So, so. <laughs> I was traumatized. Estaba aprendiendo yo a enseñar mi primera clase. Oh my God, jamás se me olvida. Y me siento mal cada vez que recuerdo eso porque pude haber hecho tanto si me hubiese aplicado mucho más en ese momento. Ahí empezó todo. Okay, so, can, what can you say instead of so, so? Con the comparison. Con the That's French. <laughs> Come on, guys. Everybody, what can you say instead of so so? Help me. I'm great. I'm mm. doing well. No, but in this context, I you, this context if I ask then... you, do you understand? Yes, it's okay. Yeah, no, but if you are doubting. Mm. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Yes, that's a good one. A little bit. Okay. What else? Some people say more or less. More or less. I will tell you sort of. Sort of. Uh, kind of. Yeah, kind of. Kind of teacher. Like that. Oh, kind of. Mm, sort of teacher. Okay. It's kind of clear, teacher. It's kind of clear. Okay. Now, more advanced. Okay. I'm getting every other word you say. I'm getting every other word you say, you know. I'm getting every other word you say. Estoy entendiendo una palabra sí, una palabra no de lo que usted dice. Ya sea que se te está cortando la línea o no estás comprendiendo algo. I'm sorry, I'm getting every other word you say. It's not that clear. It's not that clear. It's not that clear. Okay. Not that clear. Not that clear. Almost there. Ay, Dios mío, podría continuar con eso toda la noche. Almost there. Ok, y eso es lo que te confunde en inglés, pero te reto a que hagas lo que yo vivo haciendo todos los días. Yo voy manejando, bueno, cuando salía, cuando salía a trabajar, iba manejando y siempre iba pensando en cada momento de distracción, iba escuchando música, pero iba hablando conmigo mismo. Maneras diferentes de decir las cosas en inglés. Ok, en tu caso en inglés, yo aún no hago en español incluso. Hago de caso que estoy enfrente de un, de un montón de gente dando una ponencia que ya lo he hecho. Entonces, eso, ¿qué diría? ¿Qué diría en ese momento? ¿Qué palabras ocuparía? ¿Cómo me expresaría? ¿Cómo me movería? ¿Qué, ¿Cómo gesticular, gesticularía mis expresiones? Entonces, eso te va a poner en el papel de acá, de la clase. Y acá no vengas a la clase. Y ahí. ¿Got it? Always become someone else. Let's move on. Ok, so... Okay, so, so let's talk about a topic on your page 11. Today's topic is called fanboys. Fanboys. But I have a question for you. Do you remember connectors? Yes. Can you give me some examples of connectors? I'm not going to show you that. <laughs> examples of connectors. 
conjunctions. Like. Connectors. Uh -huh. like. Next. Is Next. Zero. Regardless. Regardless. I'm sorry, um, speak louder. Speak louder, everybody. Alexander? Regardless. Regardless, good. Jocelyn? Next. Yeah, they said next already. Next, regardless. What? Uh, yes. Not yet? However. Mm, yet, uh -huh. yet, however. Uh -huh. Depend? Depending. Mm, that's not a connector. Um, uh -huh. It is a conjunction, but different type of connection. Uh -huh. But or but uh -huh, but but or because, because maybe maybe mm, mm, by maybe the way. besides maybe. by the way then you got it therefore and the most common what is the most common one therefore uh, good so, and, and uh, there and. you go and okay so or, that's that's the topic about. Someone had the crazy idea of making an acronym. You know what is an acronym? Acronym. Uh huh. To make an acronym of the of these connectors, and they name it. They named it Fanboys. Fanboys. Acronyms. Acronyms are good to remember, right? A whole bunch of words. And it's okay. Okay. So this acronym fanboys um, means for and nor but or yet so. Simple as that. That's the meaning of the acronym. So what we care in this class about is the rule how to use them because we always tend to um, use them wrong you know typically you have a uh, one of these fanboys one of these connectors or conjunctions after the comma okay after the comma you have one of these connectors or conjunctions so as you can see here I'm going to start from the bottom is important, punctuation is important. So after the sentence, you use the comma, okay? And then you use a preposition, I mean, a connector, one of these connectors, and you continue with another sentence because the whole, the whole point of this is they join two sentences in different ways. For example, I just did it, for example. It's like saying just like because, giving a reason, giving a purpose to the previous sentence. Okay. I will give you some examples right now. N adds one thing to another. It continues the idea. Just like a comma. Hey, think about it. Just like a comma, it joins two ideas and it lists, it lists, Okay, a group of things. For example, I was eating and watching TV and ironing the clothes and answering a phone call. And I don't know, so many things at the same time happening at the same time. And, 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 and I don't need the subject to continue. Nor, now nor, hmm, sounds complicated, but it's not, it's not complicated presents an alternative negative idea to an already presented negative one. So let's look at that example first. We're gonna see on, um, some examples right now. But shows contrast. Do you understand shows contrast? I wake up early, but not too early every day. I wake up early, positive sentence, but negative sentence, not so early, but not so early. Or, presents an alternative or choice, okay? You can speak English or Mandarin. 
Simple as that. Nowadays, you can speak English or Mandarin. Yet, introduces a contrasting idea that follows the precedent idea logically. We will see it. Um, yet, you should think about more examples. We will see some examples. Yet, you should think about other examples. So, indicates effect, result, or consequence. So, let's see some examples to have them. I just did it. So, let's see. <laughs> so, let's see some examples. Okay. You, Mrs. Robinson. That's it. Fanboys. Here you have another explanation, but well, not explanation, but examples. So let's see. Um, I want to be honest with you. In American English, United States English, this is not so heard. The first example is not common. Okay, it's not so common. This example is not so common in Americans. Keep an eye on that. William, go. Please. Students have to read their textbooks. Books uh, for each class is based on theories students need to learn. Thank you. Each class is based on theories. Repeat, each class is based on theories. On theories. Each class is based on theories. Students need to learn. Um, so do you understand for as because? Okay, Americans will say students have to read their textbooks because each class is based on theories students need to learn. Make sense? Got it? Yeah. You got it. I didn't catch the last word. I didn't catch the last the last word. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So for is like because it gives a reason. In this example, as a conjunction, students have to read their textbooks. Why? Why do we have to read the textbooks? Oh, because each class is based on theories that you have to learn, you need to learn for each class. This is more British guys, okay? It's more British than American. Got it? Okay. Got it. Excellent. Second, easy. This is easier than the first one. You heard? This is easier than the previous one. Let's go with Ada Susana. Learning college degree requires a lot of dedication and it costs a lot of money. Excellent. Let's repeat. Earning a college degree. Ada? College degree requires a lot of a lot of dedication. Dedication. And it costs. And it costs. Wait, 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 Ada. And it costs. And it costs. 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 A lot of money. A lot of money. You got it. Okay, let's go with. The, did you understand that it joins two ideas? It, it adds, it adds more to the previous information. Earning a college degree requires a lot of dedication. And it costs a lot of money. And money is not easy to be made. <gasps> Got it? And I don't have money. Siento que le estoy explicando a mi hijo que es cara la educación. And, okay. You got the idea? Yes. Yeah, you got it. Oh, you got it. Okay, good. Let's go with the next example. I want someone who doesn't speak too much. 
Let's go with Alan. Haven't heard you today. Okay. Um, employers do not want employees who cannot solve problems, nor do they want workers who are lazy. Who are lazy. Okay. Who can explain how nor makes a contrast here? So what's the meaning of nor? Let's make it simpler. Let's make it simpler. Or more simple. Uh -huh. Employers do not want employees who cannot solve problems. Instead of saying, instead of saying, I'm gonna write here. Instead of saying, okay, instead of saying, let me see, so cannot solve problems. But they also, listen, instead of saying, but they also don't want workers who are lazy. Picture this. This is what I am replacing with nor. I am replacing, but they also don't, don't want all of this. I didn't write it properly, but they also don't want. All of these words are being replaced with nor. So nor, nor es el contraste como decir tampoco. Okay, you got it? Employers, go ahead. Is it like either or neither? Is like, no, it's like neither, neither. Neither. Okay. Excellent. Pero si ocupo neither, no ocuparía el verbo. Neither they want workers who are lazy. Okay, same contrast. Lo mismo contrast estamos ocupando. So los empleadores no quieren empleados que no puedan, quienes no puedan solventar problemas. Tampoco quieren trabajadores que sean Holgazanes. Problema. Ya. Yeah? You got it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Take it easy. We can do a lot of examples. The same happens with but. The same happens with but. Okay. Antes de continuar con but, voy a hacer una pausa. Ya le voy a enviar todo este material a su WhatsApp. Okay. Okay. Mientras yo hago esto de la attendance, por favor piensen en alguna pregunta, duda, inquietud. Acuérdense que no hay pregunta tonta. No hay que quedarse con las preguntas, ¿ok? Let's go. Ada Azucena, Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Carlos Armando Duarte. Present. Cámara encendida, porfa, todos. Claudia Maricela Solano Crespín. Present teacher. Excellent. Present. Elvin Arcides Aguizabal Martínez. Present. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. Present teacher. Perfect. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Carla Yanet Amaya Herrera. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Present. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Present. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. 
Present. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Joseph Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. I'm still awake. <laughs> Excellent. I'm still alive. Pearl Jam. <laughs> Caroline, mm -hmm. Carolina mm -hmm. Ivette Romero Avelino. I'm here. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present. Jose Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia. Jose Ángel Martínez Hernández. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Juan Marcos is not here. Okay, he was here yesterday. Muchas canciones tienen nombres de frases comunes ocupadas por los americanos. Alive and Kicking. Alive and Kicking. Mismo grupo que canta. Don't you forget about me. Okay, Alive and Kicking. Vivo y pateando. Okay, let's move on. So, where were we? <laughs> oh, okay. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were on the fanboys mm. examples. Okay, pero antes de moverme, de vez en cuando voy a hacer esto. Hagamos una pausa. ¿Estamos comprendiendo o hay alguna pregunta, duda, inquietud, sugerencia? Estoy hablando muy rápido. Ajá. If I understood uh, the word nor, do you, you need to use uh, your... I'm getting every other word you say, Alexander. Your internet connection is failing. Again? Alex? Okay, we lost him. Se perdimos a Alex. Okay, sorry guys. Oh no, my lighting is failing. Okay, good. So, questions. Estamos claros, hay alguna duda? No. Oh. Okay. Good, let's move on then. Vamos a continuar. Acuérdense, el que calla, otorga. Puede que la pregunta que tú tienes la tienen todos, pero nadie la dice por pena preguntar. Y el que pierde la pena, mucho gana, créanmelo. Aunque pase vergüenza, Did según you... tú. Uh -huh. Teacher, sorry. Yeah. Um, I don't know, but I have a, an example. Yeah. Can I tell you? Yes, please. Okay. This is not the time nor place for I send. <laughs> Great job. This is not the time nor, oh, I made a mistake already. Nor the place. Nor, nor place for a, for a thing. For singing. I sing, no. Um, I don't know, uh, escena, como se dice? Oh, to make an a scene, to make an scene. Yeah. Okay. This is not the time. Nor the place to make a scene. To, uh, para hacer yeah. una escena. Yes. And scene a scene. A scene. Okay, this is not the time nor, oh, I wrote nor twice. So one, two, three, okay. This is not the time nor the place to make a sin. This is not the time nor the place to make a sin. Perfect example. This is not the time nor the place for mm. a tantrum. Este no es el, el tiempo ni el lugar para hacer una escena. ¿Algo así? Ajá, acuérdense que time no solamente significa tiempo, ¿verdad? Sino también momento. Momento, ya. Yeah. Y veces. How many times? 
How many times do I have to The north world should be after the... Uh... Oh, yeah. Nor goes before, I mean, after the comma. Totally. The comma, okay. Aha, you got okay. it. And it's valid to say, for example, the place for making a scene. Excellent. Y eso les iba a aclarar ahorita. Qué bueno que alguien lo aterrizó, eh? For follows or continues with a noun. Okay. To is followed by a verb. En términos generales, estas dos preposiciones. What? Okay. No sé por qué mi computador está fallando. Sorry, guys. Give me one minute. Okay. So again. For is followed okay so in términos generales aprendamos estas dos preposiciones de esta manera for follows a noun to follows a verb después de to vas a agregar un verbo después de for vas a agregar un noun Y lo que acaba de hacer el compañero me parece perfecto. Acordate, te acordás en básico 4 que dice que los verbos al agregarles ING se podían ocupar como objetos o sujetos. Es lo que acaba de hacer el compañero. Again, what was the example? Uh, this is not the time nor the place for making a scene. For making a scene. For making a scene. For making a scene. Making a scene. Okay. You got it. Uh -huh. I can say for making or to make. O podría llamarle eso el uso de gerundios versus el uso de infinitivos. Good job. Okay. So, nor. Excellent example. Thank I have you. a doubt. Yeah. Alex. Uh, well, in the first example, you mm -hmm. use nor do. And the second one, you don't use the, the verb. I'm not really sure when to use the preposition do or the verb the verb do after nor oh nor do they want i got your point yes that's more british than anything nor the place sí gracias después de nor puede ir un it's, verbo o it's un not noun. grammatically valid it's not gra it is grammatically valid you can use nor Okay, a word or nor a verb. Todo dependerá del contexto de lo que estás diciendo. This is not the time nor the place. Okay, this is not the time nor the place nor the right house for a tantrum to make a sim. Okay, sí, se puede ocupar un verbo después de nor o una palabra después de nor. Quiero que quede eso claro. Okay. Okay. Now, in this example, I was telling you, ¿qué es lo que reemplaza nor? En el ejemplo, cannot solve problems. But they, they also don't want workers who are lazy. Todas esas palabras, they also don't want. So, estamos contrastando con otra idea negativa. That's the point. Okay, let's let's go, let's move. But when you use but is a result, okay, or typically a negative okay contrast. Going to school, can somebody help me? Sandra, Jose Antonio, Roberto Luis, Fatima, Claudia, Miguel. Um, so can I read teacher? Yes, please. Okay. But... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sabrina, I want someone else to participate, but um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Reina, okay. Carolina, Rene, every, anybody, guys, Miguel? Me, Sandra. Excellent. Okay. Go. Going to a school, going working at a job is difficult, but the reward, rewards will pay off later. Okay, good job. Repeat. Going to school, school, going to school, 
While working at a job is difficult. Difficult. Mm -hmm. But the rewards will pay off, pay off. Repeat. Pay off, pay off. But the rewards will pay off later. 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 Okay, good. Do you understand? So, but in contrast, okay, in contrast, the rewards will pay off later. I think this one is easy, right? This one is easy. Going to school while working at a job is difficult, but the rewards will pay off later. It makes sense, right? Yes? No? Yes. Okay. Actually. I'll move. Me voy a mover porque veo que algunos están durmiendo. So, let's go. Uh, señores, su, su cerebro funciona con energía eléctrica, si no han visto Matrix. Ok, entonces, si te estás durmiendo, te recomiendo que te sientas a la orilla de la, de la silla. Si estás en una conferencia y te estás durmiendo, sentate a la orilla de la silla. Sentate mal, sentate incómodo. Ok, a la orilla de la silla, sin, sin apoyarte. Número dos, si de verdad te estaban durmiendo mucho, parate. Ok, y empezás a mover las manos súper rápido. Ok, no es broma, es en serio. Ok, vas a sentir el hormigón en las manos. Si de verdad te estás durmiendo, parate y pega 10 brincos. Ok, vas a electrificar tu cerebro, las ideas te van a venir más rápido, vas a estar más atento. Ok, so let's move on. Or, students can either buy their textbooks or as a second option, given another option, or they can rent it from a book rental service or options. Easy, right? Easy. William, go with Jet. Learning, learning can be very exciting and, and invigorating. I'm, I'm Invi invigorating. Invigorating. Uh, yet it can also be exhausting. Yet means many things. In this context, it means although, even though, okay, although, even though. In Spanish, aunque. Okay. No, not in this okay. context. Okay. 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 okay, you're contrasting. Learning okay. can be exciting and invigorating, right? Invigorating, you feel wow, amazing. Yet it can also be exhausting. Do you understand exhausting? Yes. Carla, how are you today? I'm tired, teacher. I'm exhausted. <gasps> Estoy quemadísimo. Hay miles de maneras de decir eso. I'm exhausted. I'm burned. I'm done. I'm exhausted is the extreme. I mean, I'm so tired. I'm exhausted. Love that word. So, last one. Carla, help me. Carla, Janet. <laughs> uh, so... Studying means more than reading the textbook. So, in order to make so sure they understand what they read, successful students. students will also think about how to apply what they read. Excellent. So, in order to make sure they understand. So, we have studied all these prepositions, I'm sorry, all these connectors, these conjunctions. So let's apply them in examples, okay? How? I'll give you some examples and then you can start um, applying them. Now on your book, you do have some examples too, but let me see if I had something else for you. Yeah. Well, this will be a mental exercise, a very good mental exercise for you, but I think you can do the book examples um, later, okay? Okay, well, 
it's related to the topic, but I would rather, I'd rather show you the examples I had for you. And again, I will send you this to your WhatsApp later. Okay. Conjunctions include for, in, nor, but, or, yet, so. Okay. They connect word phrases and clauses of equal value as we saw before. So let's try it. What conjunctions can you add here or are missing? If you think I love studying in Araulo University. I don't know what is that. I like my classes. I like my teachers. I enjoy going to volleyball games. I don't, I don't like the crowds of people at games. I am in the band. I get into the games for free. What conjunctions could you add? Keep an eye on the punctuation marks. That's a clue. It's a clue. Look for punctuation marks. I love studying at Aulo University and I like my classes and I like my teacher. And I enjoy going to the volleyball games, but I don't like the crowd of people at, at games. Mm -hmm. I guess that I just up, up, and sorry. <laughs> yes, too many ends. Uh huh. But you were right. I mean, you were close, very close. Mm -hmm. I loved, I loved the fact that you said, but I don't like the crowds of people. Uh huh. Because you, you change the idea from positive to negative, positive to negative, and that's very important when you use but. Uh huh. And I yeah, the bang. and I get into the game for free. I guess it's just bat and M. No, well, too many. <laughs> yeah, but don't do that. Too many repetitions of the same conjunction or connector. Uh, you can get dizzy lecturing. Yes. <laughs> so try something else. Picture it. Picture it. Mm. Rem remember the fanboys. Someone else? Rina, you're so quiet. Rene, you're so quiet. Elvin, Miriam, I haven't heard you. Have I? Okay. I love this studying in Aruyo University. I like my classes. I like my teachers. I enjoy going to volleyball games i don't like the crowd of people at games i in the bat i head into the games for free I get into the games for free okay good uh but we need to add the con the connectors okay the connectors let me show you so i like my classes and teachers what did it, did it say before i like my teachers mm. instead of my teachers okay I like my classes and teachers and my teachers. Yeah. I enjoy going to volleyball games, comma, but I don't like the crowds of people there. I'm in the band. So I get in for free. Oh, it was logical, right? If I'm on the band, I get for free. Okay. I get in for free. Let's look at some more examples. So you can do them in your notebook if you want. It was a warm day. We took off our jackets. It was a warm day. Oh my God, it's so hot. What so? is it? So, yes, no. as a result, very good. As a result, you got it. So we need to change the dot for a comma need to change this for red maybe okay instead of the dot we have a comma and we say so we took off our jackets very good next tell the truth i will punish you or, or. or. excellent yeah easy tell the truth comma or i will punish you Okay, continue. I study for 
But yet. But. <laughs> yet. I like the candy and hey, can you say yet? Can you say yet? Me. No. Me. Yes. Yes. Good. Yes. Okay. I started for the test. By the way, I started for the test, but I got a but I but I but I got a poor grade. Don't say poor. You say poor. Okay. I started for the test but I got a poor grade. I started for the test, yet I got a, yet I got a poor grade. Yet I got a poor grade. Okay, excellent. Good guys. Next. Huh? I like candy. I like candy and, and I, like I like chocolate. 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 Okay. And, I like and I like chocolate. I like candy and I like chocolate. Chocolate. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Next. Yet I believe because this he was an struggling person. Yet he did not spend all his money. Yeah. Yet? Yeah. Okay. But. Okay. So again, um, he was an extravagant person. Yet. He didn't spend all his money. He did not spend all his money. Oh, okay. And you use but? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Then in this example, yeah, this is like better than but. Okay, you got it. I ate a lot. I'm still hungry. But. Yes. <laughs> it happens all the time. But. Okay. But I'm still hungry. Okay. Always. Can I use end? Yes. It all depends. It all depends on the contest and the context. On the context. If before saying I ate a lot, you used an expression. Oh my god, I ate a lot. And I'm still hungry. You see the context, the intonation you use, given the idea. Okay. Oh, I ate a lot, but I'm still hungry. <laughs> okay. Yes, guys, you can do it. Okay. Next three. Uh, Fernando, use his pen was broken. His pen was broken. Um, nor, nor he couldn't write with it. Nor he couldn't write with it. His in pen was end. broken. So in the in the end. Mm. Oh, so 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 oh, so yes, yes. yes. Oh. a consequence. Oh. Perfect. His pen was broken, so he couldn't write with it. Excellent. So. Okay. I like to sleep. What? But, 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 but I don't like to nap. Excellent. But, but I don't, repeat, but I don't like to nap. But I don't, but I don't like to nap. I like, nap. To I like to sleep, but I don't like to sleep. To snap. I, I like to sleep, but I don't like to snap. Okay. But I don't, but I don't, but I don't like to snap. What is nap? Like nap? Nap, nap, nap. To take a nap in the afternoon after you have lunch. Yes, sir. Oh. You go to your hammock. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. I went there. But I went there, but he was mm -hmm. told to go there. Hmm. Or yet. Yeah, both are. I wonder. Both are similar. And. 
and, and, and I was told to go there. Back. Because. Which four. is the one? What's the one that replaces? Four. Uh, oh, four. four. Okay. Four. I'm going to add both four. because I don't like four, to be honest with you guys. Okay. Uh, for I was told to go there. That's that's more British. Okay. I went there for I was told to go there. I went there because I was told to go there. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. So take a screenshot if you want or watch the video tomorrow. Questions? Doubts? Is this clear? Yeah. Yeah, with the water. <laughs> but not like aselguate, please. No. <laughs> not like horchata, okay. Clear like horchata, okay. Let me continue. If that's clear. I need to check something here. By the way, guys, today, Ada Susena Cáceres Mendoza. If you can stay, please, for 10 minutes at the end of the class. I will appreciate that. Okay, so let's continue with that topic and then we move on to the next one. So on your book on page um, 11, we have this example. I go to expensive restaurants for the service and dishes are very good. So we're going to apply just the comma. Where goes the comma? Just identify where does the comma go? After restaurant? Here? Uh, after service. Mm. Mm. No. Uh, there are two conjunctions. Ah, yes, yes, yes I do. Uh -huh. there, there are yeah. two yeah. conjunctions. <laughs> right, right. We have two so, commas there. So two commas? Yes. Yeah. Como decía Don Francisco, ¿qué es el público? Service and dishes are very good. But if a conjunction means that you need to use the word after service and dishes are very good. It's oh. my, I suppose. It's my what humble opinion. Oh. Ah, exactly. <laughs> yes, guys. Yes, you can do both. You can add or not the comma, okay? On the second, the second comma, either one or two. I go to expensive restaurants for their service and dishes are very good. That doesn't make sense. You heard? Let's see. Siempre escúchate ti mismo. Always listen to yourself. I go to expensive restaurants for their service and dishes are very good. Mm. But in grammatically, it's correct like this. Yes, grammatically is correct. It doesn't sound right when you read it. <laughs> I go to expensive restaurants because their service and dishes are very good. Now, there's no comma here in this example, at least. It doesn't sound right when you read it. For their service and dishes are very good. Okay, no pause. Always listen to yourself. Next, restaurants need to offer specialty dishes and they have to offer takeout in case you are in a hurry. Mm -hmm. oh, traditions. Oh, yeah. traditions? They're, they're yeah. special. Do we all agree? 
Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Commercials. Okay. Do we all agree? Yes. Okay. Restaurants need to offer specialty dishes. I had yesterday you, you were reading specially, uh, specialty dishes, and they have to offer takeout in case you are in a hurry. The delivery person arrived late, so we got the food for free. After late. late. Okay. Late. The delivery person late. arrived late. Yeah. Okay, comma. So we got the food for free. You got it. Great job. Okay, now is your turn. You only have 15 minutes for this activity. We need to write a 10 line review of your favorite restaurant. What services do they offer? What characteristics make this restaurant good? Let's use comparative adjectives and con coordinating conjunctions, okay? So it's a review. You know, once I went to um, to Unam restaurant, Chinese restaurant, and they had this great service when they were at Escalon, uh, coming down from Merliot, I remember. Wait, mm, from El Platillo, no from the Maferrer, I'm sorry. It was coming down from the Maferrer and they had the Unance uh, restaurant there. Man, for $12, you can eat all you want. It was a great place, but the waiters were not so good compared, compared to El Dragón Dorado, which is going down. There's a Pops, you know, near to... Um near to the Blue Fountain. So I went to El Dragón Dorado and they gave better service to my family and me. And they had a big variety of Vietnamese food. Okay, it's different. The taste is better. Like that. That's a review comparing two restaurants. You got it? Yeah. You got it. Can you do it? Can you do it? Yes. Yes, yes, I can teach her. Okay, let's do it together. I'm gonna make bigger groups so you can work together with your classmates. So you notice teamwork is very important. Okay. Listen to the others, give your opinion. Let's go. Um, lovers, lovers. Uh, for they serve uh, delicious food and the kind of the drink. I like the wine, and they had different. This is one reason because I like it. Okay. And I went to other in comparison with another restaurant. Called the the flow, the flow. Um, I don't like it because I remember in in what uh, play they serve serve me. Uh, it was a uh, uh, hair, I don't know hair in the food. That was there was a hair in the food. A plate, mm, a dish. 
Yes. Sorry, a plate they yes. served. A plate they served to us. A dish they served to. No, a plate they served to us. There was a hair. Yeah, hair. There was a hair in in the food. Ugh, what about experience? <laughs> what a disgusting experience. Okay, what about the others? Remember, you have to kind of write. Right. To review. Okay. And then share it with your classmates, okay? Go ahead. And they, they, they have, have, have a service. A good service. Mm -hmm. um, but the price, the price is, is more expensive or or the food more, is more expensive as a problem, but, but the price the the price of, of the food is more expensive. Mm. Oh, porque it's more comparar. expensive, pero ajá, pero ahí tienes que comprar than what? Uh -huh. Than that. I don't know. Uh, Another, oh, another, another, another restaurant. Okay. Um, maybe Little Caesar. Or Caesar. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, okay. But yeah, I can serve it by the price. Hey, yes, Little Caesars, but co compare with Telepizza. Huh? Domino's Pizza. For the, uh -huh. Yeah. Domino's. <laughs> hey, what is it? Oh my God. What a dilemma, because Telepizza has a big variety, but Domino's, mm, they don't have the, that big variety, right, of flavors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we talk about Pizza Hut. Oh, you're comparing Pizza Hut with? Yes. Domino's. It's with Domino. Domino's? Yes. Nah, I will say Pizza Hut with Papayons. Okay. Think about the menus. I mean, it's crazy. They yeah, I know. Menus. <laughs> Either I, do you prefer Pizza Hut or Papayans? I don't eat those things anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow. I, I used to, <laughs> because I'm on a diet. I have two weeks without pupusas. Oh my God, I want to cry. I miss pupusas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I miss pupusas, believe me, guys. But what I loved about Papayons was the espinaca, yeah, spinach pizza. Um, and from Pizza Hut, everything I mean, it's delicious. But my favorite was uh, la típica from Telepizza. Uh, pizza is good, yeah, <laughs> good, it's good. really good. Teacher, okay. uh, is pizza the, the vegetarian, the broccoli, and... You know, there's not such a thing as vegetarian pizza because you have <laughs> bread, you have bread on the pizza. So, you know what there is? There's a vegetarian hamburger made with mm -hmm. rice and rice. And then you have avocado and, and raw fish, raw fish. In Sibar's burgers. You got it? Sushi burger. It's a sushi burger. That's crazy. That's vegetarian. <laughs> you got it? <laughs> Just <laughs> saw it. Okay. Estoy buscando opciones. So encontré esa hamburguesa hecha de sushi. Está de loco, la verdad. Y cinco dólares, vale. Oh my God, I'm getting hungry. Okay, keep going. Keep going. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> El, gor el gordito dentro de mí se está despertando. No, 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 no. Late. <laughs> Keep going, guys. Okay, teacher. Uh, feel that kind of uh, that kindly service that you feel that oh, that's amazing. Yeah, I think that that could be the last time I went to Cuscatlan. I think that yeah. And I went to 
la carreta that is a pupusería. Oh, so yeah. the the guy who was um taking the the order he was really amazing and i think that he gave, gave me a good service so i think that that they have a good service but sometimes i have visited um, some places that the service is is really bad, but I don't remember one. Really? To give you something, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, Jose Antonio, uh, do you, uh, have you ever visited the pupuserias in the Planet de Renderos? Mm, yes, I, I, I visited. Um, the the, the a, book of us. There is, yeah, there is a place uh, over there that uh, it's in the second floor. And uh, I, I'm going to say the truth that the pupusa over there is not the worst thing I ever ate. Are, are the worst. Oh, sorry, are the worst I ever ate. But the 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 people that serve that gave the service it's, uh, it's amazing. That it's uh, kindly. There are so you feel like you stay in the house. But I think that it, you feel like home. I think that is because when when we went. When we go there, we try to to select one of the of the popular pupuserias. So I think that for that reason. But the last time I went to another one that is near of the of the park. I don't know the name of this park, but the name of the pupuseria is I think that is Yvonne. So no, oh, los planes de rendero. Yeah, but I don't know the name of, of the park that is near of the Planos de Renderos. I don't remember. The but park is, is Parque de la Familia. But, but um, over, over there, there's the another Mirao, park. I, I go to Pupuseria sure. Yvonne and the pupusas are delicious. Uh, um, yeah. <laughs> let me, let me uh, say that at the, yeah. the end, the, the end of the, there's a lot of Pupuseria, right? But it's the last one. And they sell the pupusa loca, right? It is uh, bigger than yeah. the other ones. They're they're all delicious. I remember the <laughs> pupusas were delicious in my life. Not anymore. <laughs> I'm on a diet. I'm on a diet. Okay. Sorry for you. I know. I miss. <laughs> Maybe you I try guess. to be vegetarian. Basically, right now, yes. I'm basically going veggie, vegetarian right now. Hey, really? nice, nice English, yes. Nice English, Isela. You speak very well. Because I have been practicing. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, that's right. Very, very nice accent. Okay, where's Carlos Armando? Hasn't he here? I don't know, but, but he's not there. I don't know okay. Okay. Continue, guys. Remember, you have to do a review. Write a review, short review, if you can, um, about a restaurant. Okay. 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 Carlos is there. I think he's coming back. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Um, you. Okay. You're welcome. Okay, uh, so did you, have you written your review? Yeah. Okay. What is it about? We were talking about our favorite restaurant individually, but we heard and we used comparatia that is to describe Excellent. Okay. Very good. Okay. Let's go back to share what we have done. Okay. Okay.
sorry. Okay, so let's share your examples. Remember, this is a review. Do you remember Ratatouille? Yes. Yeah. So you are yeah. ego. You are ego right now. <laughs> Surprise me. Surprise yeah. me. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> A volunteer to read their review, their restaurant review. Just one. Just one. Okay, not a problem. Isela, can you give me a letter between A and L? A letter. Uh -huh. Okay. G or J? I'm sorry. From A and L. Okay. L. Or, or maybe I, I misunderstood. Let's make let's make it easier. A number between one and twenty six. Twenty two. Twenty two. Okay. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Carolina Yvette, is she with us? Yay! Yes, back here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Give us your review. Uh, yes. My review, uh, my favorite restaurant is Las Carnitas, plus at Volcam. Mm, because I like the beauty view, uh, the nature, uh, the weather, uh, but but prices are are more expensive than other ones, uh, other ones uh, restaurants near 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 than than Las Carnitas. That's Excellent. It. Okay. Okay. Good, look at your chat. Um, beauty view, they have beautiful, a beautiful view. I like the beautiful view. Yes, going to El Boqueron is amazing. I like Las Brumas. I prefer Las Brumas. Um, it's kind of the same prices, but you eat more. You have more food. More. Yeah, it's delicious. Repeat. Las repeat. Brumas. Yeah, Las yes. Brumas. Okay. Repeat. Nature. 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 Okay. Nature. Nature. Mm -hmm. Homework. Nature. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. What's the name? Human Nature. Human Nature by Michael Jackson. Nature. I'm just kidding. If you want to listen to that song, you can listen to Michael Jackson, Human Nature. I love that song. Is a they, there he says nature, nature many times. Okay. Let me correct this sentence. Other ones, restaurants near than Las Carnitas. Other that, ones, restaurants near near than Las Carnitas. Yeah, but what what is wrong mm -hmm. there? I think ones, oh. other restaurants, right? Okay. Other restaurants near Las Carnitas. Other Carnita. restaurant near Las Carnitas. Okay. There you go. After the preposition near, do you you don't need another preposition like to or in this case then. Other restaurants in your Las Carnitas. Okay, so um, if you if you wrote if you wrote your review, do me a favor, take a picture, send it to the WhatsApp. Everybody else has an example. Got it? Okay. If you wrote it. What? Okay. Let me do the attendance. We're missing five minutes. And we're almost done. 
Ada Azucena, Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Carlos Armando Duarte. Present. Claudia Marisela Solano Crespín. Present, teacher. Elvin Ar Arcides Aguizabal Martínez. Present. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. Present, teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Carla Janet Amaya Herrera. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landaverde. Ok. Um, Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Reina Maribel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Present. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Present. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. I'm here. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present. José Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia. José Ángel Martínez Hernández. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Ok, bien, estamos la mayoría de que estamos inscritos, eh, ¿verdad? Entonces, importantísimo, ya podemos accesar a la plataforma todos. Sí, yeah. todos ya descargamos el manual. Ya. Yeah. Sí. Ok, very good. Ya compramos un lapicero con cuatro minas y un cuaderno. No. Ya le quitamos no, un cuaderno no. a nuestro hijo. O hija. Yes. Ok, sí. los colores también. Ok, very good. Estamos practicando. ¿Quién, ¿Quién revisó los documentos que les envié ayer y se toma el tiempo de ver si les servían, si los imprimía o algo? ¿Sí? Ya. Yeah. Me Acuérdense, o por lo menos, no sé si a este punto ya lo hiciste, ya estamos en intermedio. Si a este punto no lo has hecho, te invito a que revises tu horario diario y puedas agendar dentro de tu día a día una hora por lo menos. ¿Ok? Eh, o que te agendes a qué hora vas a ir en el ba al baño en el trabajo. Te da risa, pero sí. A, llévate el cuaderno y los colores o el lapicero para el baño y ahí haces la tarea, ahí haces esa dieta de adquirir la gramática. Si aún tienes problemas para hacer esto, para hablar, eh, hay lógica la gramática, hace la dieta que te recomendé, como el ejemplo que les envié ayer, en tu tiempo libre. Es que no tengo tiempo libre, por eso te digo, vas al baño, llévate el cuaderno, ok, tranquilo, tenés una hora de almuerzo. ¿Sabes que yo como a veces en 5 o 10 minutos? Ok. Fácil, o sea, dale. Y en mi vida me ha tocado incluso, y le va a dar cosas, pero incluso me ha tocado batir la comida, o sea, hacerla licuado la comida. Eh, claro, ¿verdad? Lógica que no voy a meter frijoles con huevo y todo eso, no. Pero vegetales y cosas así, tomármelo licuado porque no hay tiempo. Entonces, así toca a veces, ¿eh? Cuando querés alcanzar algo, haces hasta lo imposible, hasta que... Después te decís, Dios mío, ¿cómo pude hacer eso? ¿Cómo pude moverme de un trabajo al otro? Venir desde el escalón hasta, hasta ¿cómo se llama? Hasta Soyapango y, e ir comiendo en el camino en lo que llegaba a la otra clase y llegar en, a tiempo, en una hora, desde el escalón hasta Soyapango. ¿Cómo le hacía? Me digo yo ahora. Hey, that's what it takes. Así te lo digo, that's what it takes. Acuérdense la tarea para mañana, 10 um, expresiones naturales, ¿eh? Good. Well, yeah. I'll see. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Take care. Good yeah. night. Bye. Take care too. Okay. Ada Susana, no se me vaya okay. Susana. Okay, people. Night. Good night. Okay, Ada Susena, how are you tonight? ¿Cómo estamos?
Bye, teacher. Bye. And you? I'm doing great. <laughs> Thanks for asking. <laughs> okay, yo quiero que usted me diga cómo, cómo se siente con la clase, cómo um, le ha ido con esto en inglés, porque según he notado, usted habla bien, tiene buena pronunciación ya. ¿Ya había estado en otro curso o es primera vez que sea un curso de inglés? Este, cuando iba a entrar a la universidad, mis papás me pagaron eh, un curso como de seis meses. Porque eh, antes eh, el inglés lo daban en básico, tercer ciclo. Y no, no era como ahora, ¿verdad? Entonces, lo que uno aprendía era bien mínimo. Pues los colores, el abecedario. Entonces, a mí siempre me ha gustado un poco el inglés. Sí, se me dificultó un poco por mi carrera. Yo soy médico. Entonces, es bien importante, ¿verdad? El hecho de saberlo, porque hay mucho libro avanzado hoy en inglés y en francés. Y es bien Videos. Importante. Yo veo bastante. Hoy, por ejemplo, al mediodía, generalmente yo trato de que cuando me queda chance para almorzar, repasar la clase que vamos a tener cada día. Siempre lo acostumbré cuando iba a la universidad a repasar mi clase diarias porque se acumula el material. Entonces, lo que yo hago también es sacar bastante vocabulario. Hoy estuve revisando un vocabulario que dice nivel intermedio. Ah. Y en, en video, ¿verdad? Sí. Y pronunciación, que es lo más importante a veces, porque uno teme a veces decir las cosas mal. Y ese es el mayor problema, porque este, trabajo también con una compañía que presta servicios profesionales en el área de cirugía mínima y pasiva. Entonces, la gente del personal no habla inglés. Ahorita, por ejemplo, Fátima es mi compañera. Ella es recepcionista en la, en la empresa. Cuando yo llego a veces, en las mañanas, cuando puedo llegar, le digo, hello, Fátima, how are you? Hola, doctora, ¿cómo está? <risa> Me da penita. Uh -huh. Entonces, y a veces mejor las señoras de la limpieza. Yo le digo, hello, how are you? Hay una niña que me dice, hello, hello, doctora. Pero usted me va a enseñar. Y yo siento que eso va a motivar a muchos compañeros, tal vez, a el hecho de quererse meter un poquito. aunque algunos ¡Qué dicen bonito! Que... O sea, que en la empresa muchos están inscritos acá o en, o en cursos. Solamente dos. Solamente dos. Ajá. Yo estuve motivando a mucha gente a que, a que lo hiciera y no quisieron. Tengo muchos colegas médicos que no hablan nada inglés. Y es bien difícil cuando, porque uno tiene todo tipo de pacientes extranjeros. Eh, que, que uno a veces se queda puchica, ¿verdad? aunque en la universidad uno le dan varios ingleses técnicos. Uh -huh. Entonces, para nosotros, en realidad, para mí ha sido un inglés. No se preocupe que yo tengo un bárbaro también. <risa> El inglés eh, de Insafor, realmente yo no sabía que era para marketing. Entonces, cuando escucho hablar a Isela, a Jocelyn, que sé que ellas trabajan en call center, uno se queda así como, uy, qué bonito hablan ellas, porque lo hablan bien fluido. Entonces, eh, la otra noche, o hace unos meses, nos comentaban ellas que ellas también leen, que no es que se sepan todo así de memoria, ¿verdad? Entonces, pero ahí vamos haciendo el espacio, doc. la luz. <ríe> ya le iba a decir, doc. <ríe> Ada, eh, hay libros. Hay libros, es cierto, pero eh, fíjese que hay varias empresas de hecho de insurance acá en el país. Mm -hmm. eh, yo trabajé para un insurance company en, en um, se llama este call center One Call, bueno, se llamaba One Call Care, no tiene otro nombre. Y bien bonito el trabajo, de 7 a.m. a 4 p.m., bien tranquilo, eh, de lunes a viernes. De hecho, los viernes salía a las 3 y sábado y domingo libre. Ganaba 750, son ya con el bono que daban. Y era de interpretación para la aseguranza. Es decir, el primer, allá es diferente el seguro, ¿verdad? Un, un trabajador, y eso se llamaba Injured Workers Insurance. El trabajador tenía un accidente y, por ejemplo, el caso más grave que me tocó, un señor que se había cortado la pierna. Y, o sea, tra en trabajo con sierras, en una carpintería, y pues me habla la, la ajustadora y me dice, mira, I need to talk to Juan. He's on the other line, but he speaks Spanish, and you're going to be Juan. Ok, good. Let's go. Tenía Juan y me dice, fíjate que me corté la pierna en tres partes. Ok, well, you know, I cut my leg in three pieces. 
Okay, can you ask him when did this happen? Don Juan, ¿cuándo ocurrió esto? Esto me pasó hace tres días. This happened to me three days ago. I am Juan. Y ese, ese caso se me quedó grabado porque o escuchar al Señor y todo. Y al final le reconocieron y physical therapies and everything. Pero el punto es que uno adquiere tanto vocabulario médico que eso le recomendaría yo a usted buscar un trabajo. Si sí puede, pues. Es eh, algo extremo. Y hoy que ya está desde la casa. Hoy ya se puede hacer tele, eh, telemarketing desde la casa, digamos. Que no es telemarketing, porque telemarketing es vender producto, ¿verdad? pero sí trabajar desde la casa todavía lo están haciendo. Um, hay varios yo no he, pasado, no he pasado en casa, yo trabajo con el seguro social, con los hospitales privados, trabajo 724, así que probablemente alguna noche no esté por alguna cirugía. Que le toque turno, sí. No, y lo que pasa es que a la hora que me llamen tengo que salir. Ah, perdón, Doc, entonces, ¿usted qué, qué especialidad sí. tiene? Cirugía invasiva. Mínima invasiva, es la Mínima. moderna. Wow. Entonces, el detalle es que a veces el tiempo para revisar, vea, pero como usted dice, a veces mi compañero me dice que estás loca, ¿por qué no comes? Porque a veces tengo la comida y estoy leyendo, pero siento que esa es una costumbre, como usted dice. Yo revisé los, los, los fotitos que nos mandó, está muy completa. Gracias a Dios hemos tenido teachers. <risa> Eh, uh -huh. A partir de esta, del módulo 4 para acá, uh -huh. teachers que se han preocupado mucho porque nosotros tengamos mucha gramática, mucha pronunciación, que no solo es de, de escribirlo, pues, porque escribirlo quizá no cuesta, sino que más que todo utilizar la gramática y saber interpretar, ¿verdad? Y siempre nos han proporcionado un material de apoyo. Fíjese Entonces, que, es que cada, cada cabeza es un mundo realmente, y mi experiencia le digo, y, y yo admiro mucho a los doctores, he conocido muchos doctores, tengo amigos que son doctores y pues sí, lo, lo que más admiro de un doctor es, es esa tenacidad de hacer mil cosas a la vez, organizar su tiempo, que es algo inherente en un buen doctor. Y si usted es cirujana, mi respeto más todavía, porque los cirujanos son aún más, es como una obsesión, siento yo, de un orden y como ¿Sí? que Dios se los regala de tener un, un orden para cada cosa y saber llevar dos cosas a la vez. Eh, no sé si conoce a Rosario Vázquez, uh -huh. neumóloga, eh, es hermana de la iglesia mía, pero una excelente persona, súper inteligente, pero es así. Todo el ¿Qué tiempo es el corriendo. A veces uno se, se acuesta tarde, tiene que madrugar, que tengo mis niñas también, ¿verdad? Tengo que, al terminar clases, la, le reviso a la chiquita los, sus, sus clases, sus tareas, más que hoy ellos están en línea. Toca bien complicadísimo. ¿verdad? Sí, sí, en línea. Así están los míos también, yo tengo tres. Bueno, pero el sacrificio después, pays off, como decía ahora el ejemplo. Así les, así les digo yo a algunos colegas que me dicen, es que ¿para qué seguir estudiando? ¿Por qué estudias tanto? A mí siempre me ha gustado estudiar mucho. Eh, siempre es bueno aprender cada día un poquito más de cualquier cosa, hasta de lo malo aprende uno cada día. ¿verdad? Y el inglés, lastimosamente, como le digo, tal vez no fue una lengua que a nosotros se nos proporcionó desde pequeño, pero nunca es tarde para aprender. Yo uh -huh. le digo, Ay, ¿ustedes qué, qué saben que yo ya de 80 años esté en un call center y, y voy a hablar mejor que ustedes? Uno Totalmente. No sabe. Yo tenía una compañera que tenía 65 años en un call center. Y estaba la señora, tenía otro señor como de 70. O sea, se puede. Lo importante es que uno hable bien. Sí, eso es todo. Incluso ni siquiera usar súper bien la computadora, sino que hablar. Sí, no, y es bien importante porque uno a veces, como le digo, yo a veces me apeno a veces en los grupos que compartimos porque hay gente que, que lo habla fluidamente y ellos tienen la razón. Entonces uno a veces por eso se queda calladito y solo escucha, ¿verdad? Porque, porque sí, yo, yo admiro a, a las personas que, que lo hablan fluidamente y lo saben expresar, ¿verdad? Okay. Ahí vamos haciendo el... El esfuerzo, porque es un esfuerzo extra. ¿Qué tal ver Grey's Anatomy o Doctor House en inglés? Eh, lo que pasa es que como que ya está muy pasado. Hay cosas más actuales. Ajá. No, una sugerencia para entretenerse un poco. Cuando me quede tiempo. O TED Talks. TED Talks Ajá. sobre, ahí hablan de mucho sobre desarrollo de cirugías y todo, de técnicas sí. médicas. Súper bien. Hoy la admiro más. Mucho gusto, doctora. Bueno, estoy a la bueno, orden si usted me quiere enviar un audio hablando yo le corrijo su, su um, articulation su articulation 
no se preocupe, hágase una pregunta usted misma, me la manden audio de unos 30 segundos y yo le mando de regreso el feedback cuando usted quiera. Okay. Thank so, you. One is at your service. <laughs> Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.